Hey, it's Brittany with marvelandmake.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make elderberry syrup. Elderberry syrup is something super simple that you can make in your home kitchen from scratch using a lot of the ingredients that you probably already have on hand. Uh, the thing that you will likely need to order or to source from a local health food store are the elderberries. Um, I get mine online and I will put a link below to where I get them. And once I use them for one recipe, I will just put them in an airtight container and then store them in the freezer. Um, the syrup I store in a glass jar in the fridge. And then when we're feeling maybe just a little bit under the weather, we'll have a little bit in the morning and in the evening. Um, my kids, my two-year-old and my four-year-old love it. They, um, they end up asking for it when they get sick, almost like a special treat. So um, just make sure you're not giving it to anyone under a year of age because it does have honey in it. You shouldn't have honey until you're at least a year old. So here we go. This recipe is super simple. Um, you can just rough chop everything. So that is ginger and I leave the skin on, uh, lemon, Again, I don't worry about the rind, um, just some rough chops, um, a whole cinnamon stick, and some whole cloves. I love the smell of whole cloves, <laughs> and elderberries, and some filtered water. Very, very simple. And you're just going to pour this all into a, um, this is really just a small pot, and give it a good stir, bring it to a boil. And then you're going to reduce it down to a simmer, cover it, and let it simmer for 45 minutes. Um, I then just turn the heat off and let it cool a little bit more on the stovetop before adding the honey. Um, I would strongly suggest to use a local honey, and but especially use a high quality honey. Local is better because you get the benefits of the local bees, um, you know, using the local pollen. Um, so make sure your honey is all mixed together and then you're going to pour it through a mesh sieve. Um, I typically do this in my sink, so hopefully you do this a little more gracefully than I did. I end up making a bit of a mess, <laughs> but I didn't want to move the camera. Um, when, you, um, when you pour it through a mesh sieve, just make sure you don't press down on the elderberries because it will they'll they'll kind of come through and you'll end up with some chunks in your syrup so um, just let all of that drip out you can then discard the um, the elderberries I give it to the chickens store it in a glass jar in your fridge and it keeps for a couple weeks okay so that's how easy it is to make elderberry syrup Follow marvelandmake.com for more nutrient-dense recipes. I'll see you around.